Hi, my name is Marcelino. I'm a technical support engineer with Hawkrid Systems. In this video, I will show you how to repair DLL loading errors as well as missing add-ins that may result after doing a Windows update. Both the missing add-ins and DLL loading errors, along with other issues such as missing or invalid DWG document manager library, are caused by the Microsoft update KB3072630. This update was published on July 14, 2015. This update causes SOLIDWORKS to become unstable. Since I already implemented the fix on my computer, I'm unable to replicate any of the errors. To get started, make sure all of your SOLIDWORKS sessions are closed. Next, you will need to open up an internet browser. And then go to mysolidworks.com and click on Login. You will need to log in using your customer portal credentials. Once you're in, click on the search bar and type s 069491 and click on search. Click on the first solution and click on the title. You will be directed to the customer portal. Scroll to the bottom and download these two files. To save time, I already downloaded the files. You will notice the .txt extension. If you don't see the .txt extension, click on Alt, click on Tools, Folder Options, and click on the View tab. Make sure hide extension for known file types is unchecked. Then we're going to need to remove the .txt extension. Right click, rename, and remove the .txt extension. You want to click on yes, and you will do the same for the other file. Rename, and remove the .txt extension. Click on yes again. And now we're going to run before repair tool. Double click, click on run, and click on yes, and click on OK. Then we'll need to repair the installation. Click on Start, Control Panel, Uninstall a Program, and scroll down to your SolidWorks installation. Right click and select Change. Choose the Repair the Individual Installation option and click on Next. and make sure you have all of the products selected. Click on Repair. To save time, I will now go through the repair process. Once the repair is done, come back to the folder and run the After Repair. Double click, click on Run, click on Yes, and click on OK. And there you have it. You just implemented the KB fix. Thank you for watching this Hawkrid System screencast. I hope you enjoyed it.